Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Strongberg Carlson RV exterior ladder with hinges here on our 2022 Keystone Passport SL Series travel trailer. The Strongberg Carlson RV exterior ladder is going to be a great option for you if you're needing to get up on the roof of your trailer to do any cleaning, maintenance, or maybe you have to replace a vent or a vent lid. It's going to make it a whole a lot easier, especially if you're out camping and you need to get up there to kind of clean off. Maybe you have a bunch of leaves up there, maybe some debris from a tree that you need to clean off. Instead of having a haul ladder with you, which is going to take up a ton of space, you already have your exterior ladder here. Our ladder is made of a lightweight and rust-proof aluminum construction. It comes in two colors, just your standard aluminum or your black, which is going to really help match the aesthetics of your trailer, especially with ours today. It's gray with all black trim, so it really makes it stand out and look nice. It has a 250 pound weight rating, and it also has these little threads on the steps that are gonna help keep you from slipping off when you're trying to climb up your ladder whenever it's wet. So our exterior ladder is gonna come at 99 and a half inches. So obviously you can kind of cut it down. We've had to cut off a little bit just for our application today, which that is going to change your space between your rungs. On every other one besides your hinge one, it's going to be 12 inches. Your one with your hinge could be a little bit more, a little bit less. I would try and keep it on the less side just so that it's not awkward when you're trying to make your next step up. But these hinges are also going to help you if you don't have a flat back on your trailer. If you have more of a rounded body, these hinges can be turned to the side and kind of bow out the ladder so that it can actually follow the shape of your trailer. Overall installation is fairly simple. You will want to either use a stud finder or try and get your RV manufacturer to give you a blueprint of where your studs are going to be. It'll make your life so much easier knowing exactly where the studs are and it's going to be quite a bit of kind of putting it up there pulling it off and dry fitting it just to get it exactly how you need it to so that all your pieces come together and fit properly so now that we've gone over some of the features let me show you how i installed this on the trailer today so if you're going to be installing a ladder on your rv if you don't already have one the easiest way to determine exactly where your studs are is to contact your rv manufacturer they can give you a little schematic that's going to show you exactly where the studs are placed and then you can go along with some painters tape and a marker and just mark out exactly where your studs are. Our trailer today is already prepped for a ladder and what that means is that it has vertical studs like your normal trailer would have but it also has some horizontal studs so that we know exactly hey I can hit in exactly in this small area here and I know I'm gonna hit a stud. That way I don't have to worry about just going through the vinyl and the plywood that's actually what your wall is made of. If you aren't able to get in contact with your manufacturer, you can also go ahead and use a stud finder. All you'd have to do, put your stud finder on the wall. And as we come through, we can see my line for my stud is right here. And then our horizontal one, when I place our stud finder on it, it's gonna hit the entire way across. So here's all that's gonna be included with your kit. Here's gonna be the top half of your ladder, the bottom half of your ladder. These are your top pieces, which are gonna actually connect to the roof of your RV. You're gonna have feet for those. There's gonna be these hinges. So with our trailer today, it actually is a flat back but if you had a rounded trailer body, then you could also tilt these so that your ladder would go around the shape of your RV. With us today, since we're not gonna actually need that because we're just going straight 90 degrees down, we're going to be locking them in straight. So if you just take a 3 8 inch socket, you can tighten that down. And then we're gonna place these in there sideways so that they won't have any way of bending. We don't want our ladder getting cockeyed on the back of our trailer. It's gonna come with some bolts so that you can put everything together, screws which are gonna go through into your studs, and then support feet. These are gonna sit behind your ladder and are what are actually going to mount to the studs. That way you have a nice secure connection. To start, I'm gonna go ahead and kinda of half pre-assemble our ladder because we're gonna to have to do a little bit of figuring. 
on exactly the length that we need and also just placement because we're also probably going to have to cut these down just because our roof is more of a dome shape if you had a flat roof you'd be able to easily just set this on there but our more driver's side bar is probably going to need to be kind of shaved down just a bit just to make it sit flat so for right now i'm just going to hand tighten these on and this is going to be your longer of your machine thread bolts All right, so I'm gonna slide my top piece on too. And we'll put our bolts in. And like I said, I'm just hand tightening these for right now. So here's what I was talking about. We're gonna have to cut this left side up top just because right now the top is sitting flush right now but that's obviously throwing the rest of our ladder out of whack so we can go ahead and notch that off just a bit to kind of get this straightened out so because this is a universal ladder you are going to have to cut it down to size uh, with ours we're probably gonna have to cut off a bit more than I was expecting typically you can kind of just cut from the bottom of your top piece in the top of your bottom piece but it, we're probably gonna be going up above this rung right here and cutting in right about in between these two steps. We also need to figure in that we are going to be placing this hinge in between the two pieces. So we're gonna to need to map that out as well. I'm thinking we'll kind of split the difference between this rung and this rung. And then the pipes are going to need to have about a two inch space here maybe inch and a half so we'll measure that all out with our tape measure and then take it over to our saw and cut it down so we're going to be using an actual saw obviously if you didn't have this you could also go ahead and just use a pipe cutting saw or pack saw something like that anything that can kind of cut through i mean even a sawzall you might just want to be careful a lot of that can kind of jump on you or hit something because it's going back and forth but we're gonna go ahead and cut this down to size now. Now with our piece chopped down, we're gonna go ahead and just take a file and clean off all these burrs that are right here. So I measured the distance between our two bars to kind of get it to sit flat on top of our roof. I'm gonna to have to take off about an inch from the left side of our railing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that off right now. When we're done with that, we'll poke a new hole through so that we can put our foot back on. And again, we'll just go ahead and file off all the little burrs that are left on our pipe. So with our newly cut pipe, we're gonna go ahead and measure a half inch up on the side, and we're gonna make just a little dot right there. That's where we're gonna drill through so that we can put our foot back on. So I've got our ladder all dry fit together right now as you can see i had the hinges just kind of taped in place so that they'll keep the two pieces of our ladder together um, i'm liking exactly where it's matching up it's hitting our studs with our bottom brackets and then we can go ahead and pull this all apart and then we're going to paint those edges that we cut we don't want anything to corrode anytime you cut metal and you scrape the paint off you're going to take a risk at any of that starting to rust so like I said we're gonna pull this all off just use some black spray paint and touch up those edges so while my paint is drying I'm gonna go ahead and prep my legs I'm gonna go ahead and use some butyl tape I'm just gonna cut this down to size Stick this on both of our sets of screw holes. 
what this butyl tape is going to do is go into the threads of your screw as you're putting it through the wall and that's going to give you plenty of protection so that no water gets in and leaks into your trailer walls We can go ahead and do this for each of our legs. So I've marked out exactly where I want our arm to sit. Go ahead and peel back my tape now. I'm gonna press this on. That butyl tape's gonna do a real good job at holding our arm there. Pull back our tape all the way. And then we can grab our screws and mount it into our stud. Then you can just go ahead and peel off the excess beetle tape. I'm just double checking exactly how I'm laying out here, making sure that I'm staying how I need to be and kind of marking out my location for my bottom bracket now just so that I'm staying level all the way up. So using my level, I get this in place and have my butyl tape just kind of hold it up and right about there. So we can go ahead and start pressing our butyl tape in. So I'm going to go ahead and drill our hole for our screw that's going to mount to our leg right here. So with this already in place, it's going to make it super easy for us to get our left side going. I've already taken the backing off of my butyl tape and all I'm going to do is just line it up with my ladder and with our stud here and we will press it into place. Then we can go ahead and screw it into place and then do the same thing that we did over on this side. We'll drill our hole and get our screw through there. All right, we can go ahead and tighten our screws up. I already got the other side in. Make sure these line up. And we're all good, we can keep moving forward. So our next step is going to be putting our hinges back in place. Uh, like I said earlier, these are gonna move Side to side, we're gonna have that actually facing this way so that it can only move back and forth that way, which it's not gonna be able to once we have our ladder fully installed, just because we're not putting this on a trailer with a rounded side. If we did have it rounded, that's when we would loosen these up and kind of bend them to fit the form of the trailer. But what we can do now is take our drill bit. We're gonna go through, so you got roughly an inch we're gonna go about halfway, so about a half inch down, and we're just gonna drill right through our ladder as well as our hinge, because we're gonna be putting a bolt with a nut. So you can just use a 3 8 socket to tighten this down and a Phillips screwdriver. Go ahead and do both sides. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up our top piece as well. Once I get it into place, it's a lot easier to do it down here on the ground versus up on the trailer. So same thing up top, we are going to drill through our ladder our hinge and then back out through the other side. So I've got my level in place making sure that we're where we need to be. I've got my marks for my stud which I know is running across right here. So I'm just going to line my 
legs up with it and our ladder and we'll press them into place with our butyl tape hold it there now we can go ahead and screw in our legs and do the same thing we did below where we drilled through and connected our legs up to our actual ladder so I put some butyl tape on our feet up top. I should have put that on and had it ready to go beforehand, but I didn't think about it. So we're doing that now. So we got to kind of fight it just a bit. So make sure you do that first. It makes your life a whole lot easier. I'm not fully sticking this down yet because I do still have to do my screws for my top legs here, but I just wanted to get it kind of ready to go. That way, once I have these in place, We'll be ready to screw these down up here. And these are going to kind of also help hold it in place while I screw through here. So I'm just loosely putting this in right now, just because we still have to get our side over here and have that kind of hold it where I need it to. And we can shoot our other hole through. <laughs> Okay, so now we can fully tighten this down. Towards the end, it's gonna be a little hard. So I'm just gonna grab my screw gun and pop it in the rest of the way. So when we're placing our top legs here, we wanna make sure that we have five inches between our bar and the side of our trailer. And as you can see, we are right at five inches. It's gonna be real easy to be already at that with our legs in place. So you just kinda of wanna double check, make sure you are at that all the way up. If you need to, you can kind of force them one way or the other, but we're pretty good where we're at right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and we are gonna shoot our two screws into our legs. There is one hole on this side and one hole right over here on this side. So we'll just use the screws that came with our kit. We are gonna shoot these down in. And then we can come back and tighten down our brackets as well. So last thing I'm gonna do is put some self-leveling sealant on top of our screws here, just to ensure that we're not gonna have any water leaking down into our roof. Self-leveling sealant is this stuff that you see right here usually used with all your vents, anything that you're gonna put in to your roof. It's gonna block up all the holes and prevent any water leakage. So I'm just going around the bracket itself and then over our screw. Just filling that in, making sure that there's no chance of any water getting down into our ceiling here. And then also I'm just gonna take a trim panel tool, just a plastic, little piece and we'll just go along and scrape off all the excess butyl tape, make this look nice and neat. Well, I think that about does it for today's installation of the Strongberg Carlson RV exterior ladder with hinges here on our 2022 Keystone Passport SL series travel trailer. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.